some back control. I want to start with some drills. So, has anyone ever been in a back control? Like, on the back? Controlling? No? Is everyone? Okay, makes it a little bit easier. I will go later and explain a little bit more details about how I like to control. But first, start with some drills to get a little bit warm. And the drills we were using are drills to control the back when you lose it. Okay, for the beginning. So now, so stay, stay, stay. All right, we can stay. It's good too. Okay, let's start with back control. I will not explain a lot about the control now. Just make sure you have seatbelt grip with the arm grabbing the top hand, the arm on the, the armpit, okay? Stay tight, okay, so really <coughs> squeeze the guy. Then we fall to one side, the guy will escape and we will try to keep the back all the time, okay? So, the first thing we do is we fall to the one side, okay, it doesn't matter. He's escaping the bottom leg, and you can use the arm. Okay. He's just escaping the bottom arm. So, the most important part here, if you don't stay tight, you see the shoulder's already touching the mat and I'm loose. Okay, it's hard for me to take the back now. There are a couple of options if I use the arm, but here it's very hard. So, we start from the beginning and we keep the grip very tight. So, I stay here. Okay, especially no he it's really slippery. So, I stay here, super tight. I fall and as soon as he escapes, okay, I'm still here. I pose on my elbow. And now what I do, I bring this leg on the mat and I pressure with my chest okay, to, make, to make it look very uncomfortable. Okay. You could just slide the leg up and take the back again. But to be honest, I feel like since this is an advanced class, okay, we really want to take the back. And sometimes when we just land up, the people explode this way and you kind of lose them again. So in order to make sure we take the back again, I put a lot of pressure on his back. So I'm here, I pull on the leg, tight, I step on the mat, and I push him on the mat. Like trying to make him kiss the mat. Okay? So when I'm here, and I feel like he's resisting a little bit because it's very uncomfortable, that's the moment when I use my right leg, place the leg behind his head, <coughs> pull him tight to me, and I fall all the way to the other side. Usually I would use this leg now on this side, okay? But let's keep the legs in between. He's escaping the other side, okay? Now you will see this side is a little bit harder to take the back again, okay? Why? Because on this side we had the arm under the armpit, so we could post on the arm. Okay, make it a little bit easier. Here we can't do that, okay? So it's a little bit harder, which means I just need to use a little more pressure. So I go one more time, I can post on my forehead, I push with my shoulder and I almost make him go up with the hips. You see that? Like this. And there's some space. As soon as I put enough pressure, he opens up a little space. That's when my knee goes in. So I'm here. Boom. I shoot my knee in. I use my knees tight, roll him to the other side, and I get the hook back. Okay, he escapes again. Elbow pressure. Use your chest, bring the leg up high, switch to the other side. He escapes. I put again lots of pressure and I kind of almost lifting him. So this leg comes under. Okay, see he's laying on my leg now. And now it's very easy to just move my hips and turn him to the other side. One more time. Pressure, boom. The more he pushes back, the easier the back take will be. Okay, so just a little variation for some people if you feel like you go here and you're not using enough pressure and you see that the hips like uh, flat on the mat, that's okay too, you just need to switch the, the technique by bringing the knee tight, hooking the top leg and when I roll I use the top leg to pull him over and extend. Done. Okay, so I want you guys to start with this drill. I give you like a minute, just one guy trying a little bit of the movement and then we do it like for speed, okay? Like getting, getting a little bit faster. Then we switch. Three, two, one. Thanks. Uh, you did a good job, but I feel like there were two main things you like me a little bit. So, first of all, most of you guys lose the hooks, okay? I don't want to lose the hook. Okay, so that's... I never want to use it, you know, this way. 
there are a couple of options to keep taking the back, okay? You can go over, but try to, for this very uh, version we did, okay, when he escapes one leg, keep the other leg. I feel like that's, more, that's really important. Okay, so that's the one thing, and the most important thing is about the seatbelt here. Okay, some of you tend to be just too loose. Okay, then you either, like, even, even if he's not turning too much, if he's escaping a leg, I feel I have a harder time to make him turn. Okay, so I keep the hook, of course, but when I turn, you see, like, that his shoulder is facing my chest. Here, this part, okay, this should not be the case. I should be behind his back, and now I put pressure on him. Okay, so it's hard for him to turn back. So, first, I want to tell you some details about super grip. Okay. So the arm on the arm grabs the top hand. Okay, what I do is I pull the arms as tight as possible close to his neck. It's like choking him a little bit. Okay, so I'm here and I pull him tight to me. Okay, so it's to be strong. One. And the second thing I do is I'm not just pulling to me, but I'm also <coughs> closing my elbows. Like this. So one, two, three. The head needs to be so tight that you eventually hear what he's thinking. Like, okay? so, <laughs> right next to his head. That's when I have the most control. Okay? As long as you have a good seatbelt grip, if you're doing a good job following when he's escaping, you will get the back again, even though you have no hooks. Okay? The more you lag here, the harder it is to keep the back, even if you do a good job with the legs. Okay? So I want to do one more time a drill, okay. but this one is a little bit easier. Okay. So every time when I fall to the side and he's putting my leg out, one, okay, what he wants to do, he wants to step over my leg, right? That was what he just drilled. But when he steps over my leg, I already lost one hook. <coughs> That's when I need to posture up into him and then take the back again. Okay. But let's do one drill where we actually can avoid that situation. So when I'm here, tight, and I fall to the side, as soon as I feel he's grabbing my leg and placing the leg to the outside, I'm not gonna leave my leg here. But I extend my leg and I post it on the mat. Okay, boom. And now when he starts to move the hips, so he's kind of almost lifting the hips, turning the hips, and bringing the hips over, right? So go back again, go back again. As soon as he does that, I do a front hip escape, like hip escape forward. So when he moves, when he's moving, boom, I turn with him. Yeah, I stay tight, get the hook in. He's escaping, boom, as soon as I feel him moving, I'm moving with him, which ensures that I will keep the back always and have both hooks. Okay, so one more time. Boom. That's up. So the movement is like this. I'm here. I walk to the side, I extend the leg, I lift my hips, and I turn my hips. Okay, I'm here, back control, step, he starts to turn, I lift my hips, I turn my hips. Back control. Boom. Also use a little bit of knee control. Boom. To turn hips. If you just try it uh, for a second solo, okay, everyone for himself. Keep the skate forward. <coughs> if you don't know how to do it, just watch me doing it. Step, lift, turn. Step, lift, turn. Step, lift, turn. Nice. Okay, let's move on the fire again. I just show one more time. <coughs> Very quick. <coughs> one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay, you do he does like a couple of times. Stay tight, as tight as possible. It's okay if you get tired. Okay, it's supposed to be like this, because then you're really holding the guy. Okay, three, two, one. Maybe you realize it or not, but every one of you were keeping the hook. Okay, the hook that's already inside. And that's really important for all the other um, escapes he's trying. Okay. 
here because I want to have one hook. So what you what I want to do now is do one more time, two sides uh, once each side, taking the back the way we just did, and then the way we did before. Okay, it looks like this. So I'm tight. I feel safe. He's turning. I feel that he's doing it. I did the hip escape and I turn. Okay. Don't do the mistake, Adrian. Don't do the mistake and use the arms to shuffle the head to the other side. Okay. That's too hard and you lose, like, you're not tight enough again. Because of the, this motion, you're opening up some space. So try to just do it with your hips. Okay, so even when I have no grips and I step, I do this motion. Okay. The only thing I do with my upper body is making sure I stay tight. Kind of a little bit choking. Stop. Boom. And I stay tight. So once each side, after that he's escaping the hook and I lose him. Boom. So he's over my leg now. It's harder, okay? I need to keep this hook, that's the most important. Okay? I post on my elbow on this side where I have the head, okay, super easy to post. And I push behind his back with my upper body. And I push my legs on the mat again to put some pressure. Step, I stay tight, I roll to the other side. Now this side is harder, right? I move up, boom, and I take the back again. Okay, two times. So, I show you one motion, so I go here, one. So, he's escaping. All the way, put pressure, boom. Put pressure, so. Okay. Two times and then switch again. Three to one. You need to have like tight sit back grip. And when I do the drill, I really want to make my arms tired. Okay, so then I know I can keep it strong. To be honest, back control is everyone knows it like one of the best positions to have. Okay, but not one of the easiest to hold or to stay there for longer. Okay, because the guy can move a lot even though I'm able to choke him. So. What I want to cover now is two things. The first, just a little detail, sometimes when you spar with someone whose shoulders are like very small, like uh, some women or some smaller guys, it can be hard to keep the seat belt grip so he's, you're still tight here, okay? Because I feel like when, if I would do it, I sometimes would have a grip like this, okay? And that's not good because I'm exposing the arm so much, okay? So if you feel you have someone you can't control tight enough, okay, it happens to me too, then I would choose to use this grip to, okay, to make it a little bit more secure. Because when I fall to the side and he's kind of trying to put the shoulders on the mat, like step over, nice, and put the shoulders on the mat, I feel like I still have this arm, and with this arm I will be able to pull up and put my knee again, which means I give up a little bit of my chest control, okay, but usually when you have like someone smaller you don't need so much pressure, right? But I need to keep keep him like this. So I use, I use kind of gift wrap Kimura grip to always turn the guy or the girl. It uh, depends like who you're fighting with, who's like very thin, okay? Normally I would still do this, okay? But let's say he's escaping <coughs> and he's escaping both legs. Okay, that's a little bit harder now. So I go here and he's escaping both legs. I don't have the top leg, okay? On the side where I have the head control, it will be easier again than on the other side. Okay. Why? Because here I can really put pressure again and turn all the way, like almost 90 degrees. Okay. Show one more time. <coughs> Very simple. Just turn 90 degrees to the guy and put pressure on the back. So in here, you just keep in both legs. <coughs> I turn all the way to me and I pull him tight. So everyone can see. You don't need to walk with me. So I'm here and I pull him tight. Okay. You can stay like this, more relaxed too, but again, some people might explode and you lose them. So just kind of scoop them boom, and place their shoulder a little bit under the top shoulder. So that's very good pressure here now. Okay. So when I stay tight here, I can take the back again by bringing my top leg close to the head. Okay, so I'm very tight here. I use my elbow and I bring it on my thigh. Okay, and as you see, my legs already up. Okay, so what I do now, I don't want to uh, 
pull this leg in. I could do that sometimes, but the easier way for me that's right, is when I'm here and I put the top leg in and then roll to the other side. Boom. Okay. For, for this side, when he escapes, both legs, it's harder again. Okay. Especially because on this side, it's easier for him to get on top of him. So, okay, then I end up here and try to hold him. Some of you know this meme where this little kid is almost falling off this, I don't know, llama or whatever. <laughs> okay, that's how you feel then. So I fall here, he's escaping. I need to put, as soon as he's here, a lot of pressure against him. You just step my legs on the mat and I put, all, I put shoulder pressure, elbow pressure. I need to make it for just one second. So tight that when he tries to get up, try to get up to this side, that is so hard for him. Okay? The first thing I want to show you is the same thing actually as on the other side. Okay? So when we have a good side, why to choose the other technique for the bad side when we can do the good side again? How we want to do it? I show you. So I'm here, I put pressure so he's not getting up. And now I walk my legs. One, two, Straight, my chest tight. I turn him using my elbow. Okay, and now you can see there's a slow version. Walking. See him on the same side again. Tight, elbow, step, fall. Or if you want to do it a little bit faster, you want to tap. Pressure, I walk. And from here, if I stay tight and I just kind of um, tense my um, stomach muscles, like my abs, I do like this. On this mat, it's super nice. You can slide all the way. Okay. Mm -hmm. One more time. <coughs> On this side. So I go here. He's escaping. Oh, no hooks. Turn. Pull him. Place the leg up on the thigh. Shoot the leg in. Turn. He's escaping both legs. Pressure. Try to get up a little bit. Yeah. Tight. And then you escape with the legs. <coughs> Stay tight again. It's a lot of pressure on the neck, like choking. I turn him. Boom. One, two, switch. A last detail. Some people tend to use their knee. Okay. And if you're not super flexible, where you kind of give space, throw the leg over, and then you maybe trap the arm with your arm trapped too. Okay. You might want to do this where this version. So I'm here, and it's tight. Okay, I stay tight with my upper body, and I just do a little hip escape. <coughs> okay. Scoot my butt, step into the hip, kick through, switch the back. Last time, it's tight. <coughs> Turning, pulling, stepping. One or right. Keep the skate. Step. Shoot in. Switch. Escape. Escape. Stay tight. Okay, he tries to bridge up. I try to stay tight. Then I move. I keep moving. Pull him up. And I switch. Okay. Two to one. It works always the same yeah. if you try to get that back again. But sometimes you have lots of trouble on the other side where you walk the ball around for the good side. Or maybe you just say, oh, I don't like to do this and maybe like some other things. So I just show you two options. Okay. If you feel it's too much, just drill the things we just did. Okay, all the things we did, you can just go over them again. Uh, if you say, oh, I want to do more, okay, then pay attention. Another thing I like to do is when I fall to this side, when he's escaping both legs, and I end up here, is pulling him tight. Okay, that's a problem for the down bottom, okay, so watch how we do it. And because I'm pulling him tight, I can kind of slide on my legs. So, very comfortable. Okay. You could do like the more soft way, but doing this, but when I do this, like I feel there's no pressure on that. So one strong explosion might be gone. So I'm here, tight, and I pull myself up. Okay. I get up with him. Can you turn this way? 
I get up with him, putting pressure with my chest, and I place my knees right next to his. Yeah. So I'll be here putting pressure to the front. I still have some time. Okay. So what I do now, usually the people start to defend their neck. Because if he's too open, of course I will, of course I will just start the back, right? So but we wanna take the back. So I feel like when I push tight or I try to take control, he's pushing with his arm down. Strong. I resist. Then I do this. I just drop my arms a little bit because he's already pushing them down, down right? <coughs> I drop them a little bit, I step up, give some space, and now I use the, the leg that's on the side where I have the head. Okay, so I push them down a little bit, sup, step, and I fall all the way to the side. And I end up trapping one. Okay. As soon as you're here, try to keep this leg outside, okay, which makes the arm not trapped. You can even, if you like, to lock, body lock, or just stay here. The okay, eyes stay tight. If you want to finish this hand off too, okay, just grab the hand and either go for the jump. Or if you like to, you can grab the arm, place the arm behind the back. You can just place the knee here or get the other knee over so it's trapped. Or maybe sometimes when I say like, I feel a little bit bored, you can pull the arm up. Like it's more of a okay. So I will explain a little bit about the choke a little bit later. But if you know how to do it, okay, just keep doing it. So just finish the guy with this choke, other variations, or control the arm. One time. Okay, let's stay here. Okay, so I enter here. I go tight. Um, I get up. Which space? So I shoot in and then land straight here. Tight again. Catch the arm. I try to not catch it here, because here I feel like if he extends the arm, I'm very weak to control. So I can control like before his wrist. So when he extends the arm, it's harder for him. Some people are able to do it anyways, but if they extend too strong, I just guide the arm. Okay. Trap it with my knee, or just attack the um, uh, rear naked jump. Another option, let's say I land here. And I feel like, uh, I don't know, I like to change my whole position. Okay, you can kind of just pull him up a little bit on your chest. Watch out, with some people that are heavy, it's not so easy to do that without feeling comfortable. Okay, and as soon as I'm here, I kind of push him down a little bit, and I'm going to catch the arm. Okay. <coughs> if you want, you can catch to a Kimura grip. You can end up in kind of like a crucifix position. Okay, you can grab the arm with the head. So there are a couple of options, everyone who already did it, like, knows about them. You can use your leg to arm bar the guy. Well, depends on the place where his, leg, his arm's moving. So if he's moving the arm, I first need to adjust my leg. Okay. I like to switch, it's my favorite, most favorite option. Okay, and then I can just turn a little bit, now the arm is trapped. Okay, push the head, step over for trapping. There are a couple of ways to finish the triangle. I don't want to cover now. Okay, just so you get an idea what you could do. He's right here. Pull him up. So if he's reaching too much now, I might be able to take the back again. Just using my hooks. Okay, if you like more to do a kind of a crucifix style, catch the arm. Or maybe if you're pushing too much, you can always catch the head. Triangle, attack the arm. Or just use the back to get on top. Okay, so there are a couple of options. You can try getting up, attacking, or getting to crucifix. If you feel like you want to do that, keep doing it. And for the other people, just review everything we did. If you have any question, raise the hand. And after that, we go for some attacks. Three to one. Uh, to be honest, I will be fast. Okay. That means that at sometimes, Okay. When you're here and you do the movement, you might not get up. Or he's pulling the arm. Which is totally fine. Okay. Of course you're being an advantage if you step on the, the arm. Okay, but I feel like because I need to give some space in order to step the leg in and not just doing like this. Okay, because I wanna take the risk, okay? I give some space. And if you wait too long, the guy might escape. Okay, so try to be fast when you do it. Uh, a friend of mine likes to do a different option. Okay. I don't like to because it's 
very uncomfortable for, for the guy, okay, which is instead of being here, using the knee behind the back because it's like so uncomfortable that the guy's like, Ugh, and then you choke. Okay? So, like, if you want to ever try it, you stay tight, you place the knee, and you're almost kind of sitting back. It's so uncomfortable. Okay? Even when he starts to defend with the arms. Okay? I can put more pressure, and now I feel like it's pretty good control, but it's like, you better be friends first. And then, <laughs> then you show showing the arms more, right? Okay, I just want to cover quick some submissions. And one thing that actually for me is very important for the back control. Um, everyone maybe heard that there is a group in the bad side. Like for back control, they tell you always to fall on the pillow side because the pillow side is the good side and the other side is the bad side. In the case of the getting the back control back again, like the drills we did, it makes sense because we have one side for me where, I'm, where, where I can easier posture up and take the back again, right? But to be honest, there is no good and no bad side. There's only bad control. That's basically mm -hmm. Okay, so when I'm here and I fall to this side and everyone says, oh, that's the good side. Okay, because I have the choking arm, it's harder for him to put his head on the mat, to put the shoulders on the mat. Okay, in some senses, it's right, okay? It's just that the control here is a little bit easier. Okay. On the other side, the biggest problem I see, that's when people say that's the bad side, is when I fall here and my seat belt is like just weak. Okay, it doesn't matter if my leg, how my leg position is, but my seat belt is weak. What does that mean? It's easier for him to put the head on the mat. And if he puts the head on the mat, now I have a hard time. Okay. The next thing is he's putting your shoulders on the mat, you know, trying to escape. Okay, and it will be super hard for me to hold him here. But remember what I said about the seat belt grip? The head placement? I feel like that's very important. Okay, so when I stay here, and I keep my head on this side, okay, tight, and he tries to put his head on the mat. Okay, we'll have a hard time because he, my head's on the way, in the way. Okay, so for me, this is not a bad side. I actually love this side. Okay, in the gi too, because there are lots of chokes, like bone arrow choke, there's the arm bar. Okay, so I love this side. Okay, so there's no bad, no good side, remember that. If you don't want to, it's okay too, <laughs> I'm just telling you. Okay, have good control on the left side and there will not be a bad side. Which makes it more like, for me, it's the right side is the choking side, actually, and the left side, especially in Nogi, okay, talking Nogi, and the left side is the armbar side. Okay, that's the only thing I differentiate. When I say, oh, I want to attack armbar on the guy, okay, maybe because of strategic reasons, or because of armbar, I will go to the left side, okay, the side where I have the underhook. If I, want, if I say I want to go for the choke, I eventually not go for this side because it's harder to choke him. So I'm going to go for this side. Okay? So I just showed a, a couple of options on the right and the left side. Okay? So start off with the right side. I fall to the choking side. Okay. What I like to do is I place my leg always on this side. Okay. You can body lock. Okay, that's very good too. Just some people are not very flexible and they get afraid when some people catch the leg. Like from outside, yeah, and kind of pushing the hip up, and then you need to tap, okay, because your foot here is like in the wrong place. You see my leg now, the heel is like very in the wrong place. So when he picks up his hips, I'm kind of almost uh, lock, leg locking myself. So the more you pay attention that your, your foot is facing the same way where he's trying to use his hip, good. Okay. then I feel like it doesn't matter, okay. But watch out on that. I like to do this. Stepping because my legs now free and I can move a lot. Okay, that's what I like to do. So when I end up here, okay, again I'm gonna control the arm first. Watch out that you don't control here. Again here, uh, four finger grip. This is illegal to grab uh, two fingers or one finger. Okay, most of the time because uh, it could break easy. Your fingers break easy when you control them like this. Four fingers allowed. So like this. Also not just a thumb. Okay, so I'm here. Boom. As soon as I catch this arm, this hand goes all the way through and I catch the back of his neck. So that's why, where I want to... Okay, just for explanation, I stay a little bit back, but should be like this. Okay, because now I can hide my arm with my chin and I put pressure on him. Okay, I have this arm, you can just put the arm away, pull the arm out and finish the choke. Or, again, place the arm behind. 
if the guy is strong, this will not be so easy, except he's pushing. He's like strong, oh, I can't hold it, no. Then this gets suddenly very easy. Okay. So I'm here, I stay tight, I release, I grab my biceps and I try to hide my arm behind his head. There are a couple of ways to do that, using the fist, using the back of your arm. Okay, I like to do this actually. Okay, I will explain you why. So I'm here, okay, how do I finish? Shoulders back, okay, kind of a little breathe in, like pushing your chest forward and stay tight at the same time. Okay, that's the easiest without just smashing and getting tight. Okay, like putting shoulder blades together, finish. Okay, I like to do this because of a simple reason. Uh, everyone of you who has already been in a triangle situation and you feel like you had everything but you couldn't finish. So what do most people do? Pull them back the head. Pull the head down. Pulling down the head. Okay. So what I really like to when I'm here, and I feel like it's still not working, I'm pushing off with my arm. Ah. Okay. I'm using the arm, ah, pushing it down. So I stay here, tight, ah, oh, it's not working. P pushing it a little bit more in, very uncomfortable. Okay. So we have rear naked choke or motaliao. Okay. Then we have a short choke, okay, which means I just put my elbow on the mat and I bring the sharp part in front of the neck. It's like this, I catch it okay, with my arm and now I hide my arm behind his back and I put pressure. It's very uncomfortable. Okay, so one, two, short choke. And then we have the one hand choke or as I call it sometimes the holiday choke or vacation choke because you catch your head. You can even use both hands now. Good job, good job. <laughs> okay, so I'm here. One. Finish. Then I'm here. Second hand. I hide the hand tight. Using my sharp part against his throat. Very uncomfortable. Okay. Boom. And the last one I want to show you is one hand. You could pull the elbow back to put more pressure. You could lean a little bit into the guy to put some pressure. You can use the second arm if you want to. Okay, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Like this, you just lean back, relax a little bit. Ten. Okay, so this is a, that's a series on the right side. Let's start with this. Okay, three chokes, three to one. It's a little bit past 12, so there's already, already lunch. Um, that's why I kind of want to end it here. But for everyone, like, I don't feel so hungry now, to be honest. So I would still cover the armbar things if some people would say they want to see it. Yes. Yep, yes. please. Uh, you hungry. Okay, then I will cover that. Everyone else, um, thanks for the class. Maybe we do a quick group picture, right? Because Christian said we should do more group pictures. So we'll do more group pictures. Okay. Uh, How are they, um, <laughs> you get something from me, so it should be enough. Um, okay, I, I will cover that, but first, before anyone leaves, are there any questions about the things we did or anything about back control we want to know or... Yeah. Uh, yeah? Yeah, so this may seem like really basic and dumb, but I always hear... That the there are place. no dumb questions. Um, with, like, just finishing the basic rear naked chokes, uh, like, are, are you trying... I, I've heard people explain, like, trying to push their elbows together. Uh -huh or trying to pull their elbows back, and they seem like opposite ideas. Yeah, that's right. And of, and of course, like, at the beginning, when you get elbows, supposed to lock it. But then once you lock it, then are you sinking back, or, like, what, what are your finishing mechanics? Uh, to me, to be honest, like, I feel, for me, it's, of course, doing this. Yeah. Okay, but remember what I told about the simple grip? Yeah. So I kind of try to keep always the same pressure, like, this way, this way, and when I pull it back, I kind of just edit a little bit. Okay. okay. Uh, I know it sounds weird, but it's actually this and this. You know? uh, but, but you're not trying to like, touch them, like you're bringing them Oh, down. you mean like this? Yeah, like I've heard people try to explain to me like that they're just, yeah, they're trying to like, like a scissor, like bring their elbows together as opposed to the space. Yeah, and, 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 no power there. To be honest, like I do that in the beginning, okay. at least I feel like, let me see. So when I'm here, yeah. One, and now I get very tight, right? right. Like very tight. Right. Okay. But I can stay like this tight and putting the shoulders back. Does, yeah. Doesn't make sense? But like, I, I, I don't do like this and then this. Yeah. yeah. That's what yeah. it feels like when, when I watch you. Okay, so like uh, I don't stay this tight, a little bit loose. Okay, I don't put my elbows like this together okay. and then to the outside because okay. that wouldn't make sense. Of course. Yeah. Okay. So I kind of 
adjust tight, yeah. tight, tight, yeah. and then I kind of put it in shoulder back. Maybe a little bit more on my right side if I would watch it closely. Mm -hmm. Okay, but basically I feel like I do tight like this, okay. like both, like stay here, <coughs> tight, squeezing it in, and adding the shoulders. Because then I feel like I put more pressure on the neck on the one side when I do like this. But I don't do like this. Right. So I don't want to put the elbows to the outside. Not, not like a short choke cutting motion. No, yeah, I can. Okay. okay. Um, that's at least how I do it. Okay. So like, yeah. When some people say you, uh, you need to do this more, it can be because the instructor feels like you don't do this motion enough and now he's telling you to overdo it so you kind of find the balance. Yeah. Or sometimes there are, the situation is a little different so I can't tell you exactly. Yeah. I would not say there's a bad thing about any of these things. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just I feel I get tight, 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 as yeah. tight as I can. And I keep this thickness, this tightness kind of, and I use this. Not just because I want to put my elbows to the outside, because, but because I feel like I'm using my chest mm -hmm. to kind of putting pressure. Mm -hmm. That's what I then maybe add with the arm, <sighs> putting them down. So like when I'm here and I stay like super tight, super tight, super tight. And then when I kind of pulling this, I kind of feel like I'm pushing my shoulders a little back and my chest forward and that what at least makes it for me tight. Uh, when I'm there, I really never had that much of a problem. Okay, most of the time in the beginning to get the choke. Yeah. But uh, I hope it answers your question a little bit. Okay. I feel like if you try it out and there's a way how you feel most comfortable, like the least getting tired and making the most out of the position, that what I feel is perfect control. I just always have issues with people like clawing my hands back off of them. Even when they're back here, like, I don't know what kind of crazy shit they're doing. Yeah. It can be hard. Yeah. Like that, that, that's another reason why I like to grab here. Yeah. Because I feel some people when I'm super tight and yeah. they're super strong and yeah. they're pulling my hand out, yes, exactly. I kind of feel like I'm losing it a little bit here. Yes. And with this, I'm not just pushing the head, but I feel like I'm holding his neck. Yeah. Like, please make sure you cut your nails, okay, so you're not <laughs> holding the, the skin. Okay, but like I'm really holding him here. So when I feel that he's pushing me off, I feel like I can stick more to it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, if you want to get like, I, I would try it, yeah. and we have like a couple of more black belts here, just try to ask them too, mm -hmm. and then maybe you find your thing that you, you want to do. Okay, and anything else? No? Okay, then let's do the group picture, and everyone who wants to go eat can eat, and everyone else can stay and see the armbar things. I just have a couple of sheets again to the choking side, and they feel like, oh, that's the good side, I don't want to get there, I want to get on the bad side. And then and make them get there. Because you know that, right? If you want to push someone to one side, they're actually pushing against you. <laughs> one, and then you fall to the other side. Okay, so when I'm here, I feel this hook here gets really important. Not is it um, just here uh, easier for him to escape when I hide my leg here, but I feel with this hook, I'm able to move him. Okay, because I don't, don't want to move him away from me, back control. <laughs> okay, I want to add something before. So I stay tight here. Okay, and now my goal is to catch his arm. Okay. Please give me the arm, or I need to choke you. <laughs> okay, so I catch the arm. That's my goal for now. Okay, but don't grab here. Don't stop here if you want to do an arm bar. Okay, the main reason why is every time I go to an arm bar, and I don't make him uncomfortable. Like, or, or some people just get to here for the arm bar. Okay. If I just try to armbar from here, I feel like most of the people are super strong turning into me. Okay, then I try to do it and they're explosive or they're super strong and I can't hold him there. So what I like to do is like this. I try to make sure I catch the arm. Okay, strong grip. The second leg, again, you can just stab or if you want to, of course, you can um, trap the arm or body lock. Okay, but for this technique, try to use the hook. I grab his, his arms. And now watch, I use this arm, I go all the way around the head, I pull my elbow back and in, which is kind of locking his head, okay, which makes it super hard for him to turn this way. Okay. I connect my arms okay, like this, so I want to have a really good grip. Tight, and now I kind of extend him, and as I extend him, I pull a leg over. I'm holding like this because if you hold like this, there is actually two options. Okay, you can sit up with him, Okay, stay tight on him, 
you can bend the arm a little bit and do kind of a wrist lock. Okay, just pulling the arm in, twisting a little bit. Watch out that you don't twist your arm too much because then you feel uncomfortable. Make sure the elbow is like stopping on your body because otherwise wrist lock is not working, right? So I'm here, okay? I have my grips, I turn him in and I finish. It's uncomfortable. But don't forget to turn because just pulling here might not work. So I turn the arm a little bit in and then pull in, okay? <coughs> the thing is, if I want to have this attack, the arm is actually a little bit harder. Why? Because when I sit up like this and his arm is bent, he will do what? Like grabbing his hands together or something. And then I need to oh, work for uh, uh, breaking the grip to get an arm bar. So if you just want to do the arm bar, I stay here. Boom, getting the grip, staying tight, good control. Use the elbow, boom, sup. And when I kick him now, I'm going to switch my grip and then pull the arm. Okay, so I do this. Okay. I try to really catch his wrist. Because I feel when I'm just here, people are strong, they're pulling the arms together, I have a hard time. So I really want to catch the wrist, and I want to have the arm extended already. One more time. So one, two, good grip, I extend, and I switch the grip. Getting the leg over, I don't need to get up, I just pull the arm as I'm pushing him away. Knees together, so like the same principles for every arm bar. Knees together, uh, flex your heels, lift the hips, pull the arm tight to you. Okay, never give him the arm back. <laughs> so one more time. Maybe you already see that it's harder here to choke him. Not impossible, just harder. Okay. So if his, his arm's like this, just try to choke him a little bit, his arms will get here fast. So I catch the arm. <laughs> I get to here, one more time, okay, and as soon as I feel like now I'm going, kind of grabbing the wrist and extending the leg, okay, so I'm here, I mean you could do like this, because, but I feel like that's an awkward grip or easy for him to defend, okay, so I kind of stay here, I push him, I switch the grip, I place the leg over, that's important, because that's the next thing to push his head this way. If you forget about that or you're too sloppy, he will just explode into me again. And then eventually you catch a triangle, but I'm just saying, okay, last time. Sup, <coughs> sup, really pushing him. Try to be not too much on his face if you can. More kind of turning his head, placing my elbow down. It's uncomfortable already. Extend, catch, stay tight, finish. Okay, try it out. Three, two, one. Okay, uh, the last thing I want to show you is I feel the chokes and the armbar on both sides so this technique I show you I feel like works on both sides uh, is really good when you combine it with the triangle Okay, because I feel the triangle is not uh, you're not only working on trapping the other arm but you have two options to attack and that's always good Okay, so I want to start on this side okay. I have this bit Okay. My goal for now would be extending him a little bit so I can stand over. Okay. Some people are super tight here. Like I said, I'm here, I'm gonna take the arm. The people are super tight and I don't know, I just feel like I don't wanna do the arm bar without having this arm secured. Okay. So what I kind of do is I extend him a little bit. Okay. I do that because I feel I'm not flexible enough to step here. Okay. If you are flexible enough, that's good. Okay, but for me, I extend him a little bit, so it's easier for me to step. Okay, I shoot this leg, and as soon as I'm here, I like to cross my legs. Okay, watch out that you never cross the legs here, because here it's too easy for the guys sometimes to get a leg lock. Okay, but as soon as you're sideways and you have a tight grip here, or even over the shoulder, that's nice. Okay, because that's really tight, and that's hard for the guy to trap with the legs. Okay. When I'm here, I can still continue putting pressure here and attacking the arm bar. Okay. What I like to do is either catch this leg, so I control the arm, pull this leg up, and connect to triangle here. Okay. Still able to connect to arm bar. Or if you say you like the other one, you just grab the leg, step, try to go to this side so it's easier for me to lock it, and then lock the triangle. Uh, you can, sometimes when you're strong enough and when you feel like you have a tight control here, it's enough to screw the legs. Okay. A lot of times it's not. Okay. I feel like it's a hard triangle to do. Okay. 
it's a finish. Um, there are a couple of options where I like to grab the legs. Okay, we're just kind of trying to reach, get, reach for the legs and I kind of step and I pull him tight into me. Like using my legs to scoop him a little bit and make the position tight on the neck. Okay. Uh, what I do like is lots of people forget about this arm. And then I don't attack an arm bar. You could. Okay, so like that's a very good option to attack different arm bars or maybe wrist locks. Some people tend to have their legs like their arms like this. Okay, and then you're just relaxing here and you're like, oh, what you doing? <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. What I like to do in this situation is a lot of times I just grab the shoulder and put shoulder pressure. Okay. I just show one more time the whole thing and then we end the submission. <laughs> So I'm here and I want to make sure I secure the arm, so I step over. If you can, don't just lock it like this, would be way enough for everything else. Okay. But for now, lock over the shoulder, because now you have a tight grip. Okay. Connect the legs. Okay. Don't be sloppy. Okay. You will like slide out tight, pinch the knees, pinch the legs, stay tight in this position. You can use now the elbow, the grips, controlling a little bit, and now you can choose. Grabbing this arm, uh, grabbing this leg, or grabbing the other leg. Okay. If you grab this leg, I would grab it like from this side. Okay. So I kind of pull it up, and I catch it, and I lock it. Okay. From here, again, okay, on this side, the shoulder lock is a little bit stronger. When you pull the arm, you, see it, you maybe see it already, I'm tight. I push the shoulder down, and I put up my hips. It's kind of like a shoulder lock. Okay. If he's relaxing his arm, he might have some. Wrist locks, you might can take some arm bars, or wrist locks again. <laughs> okay. Or you catch the legs. Okay. Again, I would not just catch the leg and pull the leg. Because I feel like I did a lot of times like just trying to hug it and hold him and squeezing my legs and then my legs get tired and I need to open maybe my legs and then I feel like oh it's not working. Okay. So what at least works for me, I step this leg back, which makes the training a little bit tighter. Okay. Step in on the mat, and then just try to kind of do technical stand up. <laughs> okay? Go back to me. You good? Mm -hmm. I will give you a massage. <laughs> <coughs> okay. The other one, you grab from the hand below. Okay, make sure you step somewhere so you get fat, you'll be faster. Okay, you could do it without stepping, like just pulling the leg, but you see I'm very slow moving. So just step somewhere, boom, so you can slide up. You lock the triangle 